Hi, Paul and Trish here. We're making our first uh, video for a, a sandwich that we really, really like. It's called the, the muffaletta, and its origins are Italian immigrants from New Orleans. And I've had them a, a few times, so we're we're gonna we're gonna improvise. improvise. Um, we got the um, olive spread. Trish, why don't you show them the olive spread that we got yesterday? And uh, we were at the the farmers market. And uh, we paid he a quite hefty penny for this, but worth it. Worth it. And we've been we've been eating it on crackers, so we thought this morning we'd go and get the other ingredients to make our version of a muffaletta. Okay, so mm, the very bread. first step is the bread, and they told us that we wanted to get like a like a Italian type bread. So we went up to Publix and we got a Tuscan style freshly baked bread, and we're gonna we're gonna cut it and we're gonna. Um, take out the, the center and we're gonna start stuffing it up. So the instructions are what you do is you wanna cut um, not quite in the center, just a little bit uh, bottom heavy because we're gonna fill it up and we want all the good juices to be absorbed in the, in the bread. So we only get one take here. <laughs> okay, so let's not mess this up, Trish. So far, so good, oh good. Okay, all right. So we're then we're gonna take it apart, and then what it said to do was we're gonna we're gonna cut the, in the inner edges all the way around, and we're gonna scoop out. Um, and be careful. We don't want to cut the bottom because we don't want any of the we want all the juices to stay inside the inside the sandwich. So yeah. we're gonna cut out the this out and pull the pull the crumbs out and discard. But really, we're gonna no, eat we're them gonna later. Eat it. We're totally gonna <laughs> eat it. I don't think we should put all of a half because yeah, this is so good because we're going to eat it later. <laughs> yes, so please. just put enough in there um, to get it. So this is this is a, a blend of um, olives and Pepper. peppers and carrots, they say. Carrots. Um, and capers. Banana peppers. Banana peppers. And so there are Ooh, lots of ways you can do so it, good. but I think there's some a primary component is the olive salad. This smells really good. And they say that, you know, usually you, people would make this and... Um, they could wait at least 24 hours in the refrigerator before you use it and it can stay up to months in the refrigerator and be used again and again. So cool. All right, do you think that's enough or should I put a little, I little bit more? A little bit. We're going to put some on the top, so that's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. All right. So now let's, let's, um, let's introduce the meats. Oh, the meats. We have some good meats here. Okay, so we, we went and got... I think it doesn't really matter, but there's a, a there's a combination of you want to do sweet and um, and hot, and so we've got some what's that called again? Oof. Sapra Sapra Sosa. Sapra Sopra Sopra <laughs> We just lost it. Um, it we actually knew this one. Um, what is it called? Uh, Sopra Seta. Sopra Sata. Oh, Sopra Sata. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's Sopra Sata. But this is it. Look how beautiful it is. It yep. tastes delicious. So that's Boar's Head Super Sata. Then we've got some regular um, bologna. 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 Some ham. Sweet deluxe ham and provolone. provolone. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to layer it with um, the three different meats um, very evenly and then the other suggestion we have is you want to get them sliced very thin and we're gonna we're gonna attempt to do three layers um, but we want to be careful we don't want to make it too too thick three layers of this meat? no no that's good okay we'll do it one yeah, more layer exactly one layer of each meat and then the provolone and then we're going to do that two more times okay we might do two one more times. time we might, we might do one more time yeah i was gonna say i don't know about that So we might but the, no, we the, might be able to. the part know. about the about the sandwich that we're not going to take complete advantage of today is that you're supposed to then wrap it in baker's uh, wrap yes. and put oh, it gosh. between two large cutting boards and put a 40 pound weight on it and put it in the refrigerator overnight. Ooh. So we don't have a, we don't have an overnight time. We're gonna no, we're, we're gonna press it, but we're only gonna press it for. A few minutes before we so we Listen, can eat it. <laughs> this was supposed to be lunch. She's made me wait a very long time. I'm hungry. All right, cheese now? Yes, cheese. We're ready for cheese. And I think we All should right. probably do we should do another layer because we're gonna try to press it. Okay. Another yes, I think so. 
All right, I'm gonna do another layer, starting with, do I, can I change the order I did it or does it have to be the same? You can change the order. Because I think I wanna do the, the bologna first and then the soprasetta. Because then it's in between, kind of gives it a lot more flavor. I don't know, I'm making this up. So one of the, the cool parts about the sandwich is that the blend of all these different types of meats together with the uh -huh. cheese. Yeah. Um, and there's also another special Italian cheese that I can't pronounce that they, they recommend. But with the olives on top as in between. And then what you what we're gonna do is we're then gonna we're gonna press it and then we're gonna slice them like a pizza, like little wedges. Ooh, it's that so sounds beautiful. So good. This is <clears throat> actually really making my mouth water. Okay, and then now I can need the ham. I really already this ham. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> I can already tell. And notice that we're not putting any mustard or mayo or anything. It's starting to be a little sloppier <laughs> with as I go here, so it's okay. But I, I, I don't think it's gonna matter. No, it looks great. Oop. Okay, I'm just gonna take half of this, put it here, and the other half over here. But I don't think there's a wrong way to do this. All right, throw the cheese on. Mm-hmm. And voila. Wait, All right, do one so more. Yeah, put one more in there. Let's put, then we're gonna put um, so another layer of, of, Ooh, of the um, olive spread. Are we gonna put it on the bread or just on top I think of this? put it on there and then we'll here. flip it over. Ooh, wow. This is so Make sure you save so a little bit. I know, I'm gonna save a little <laughs> bit because I do wanna have some of this for people. Although, um, we could dump that I whole thing thinking, on there and be I'm, done with it. And then try to make this because oh, I have yeah. to have, I want more. <laughs> We're going to have to wait till next week when we go back to the, the farmer's, farmer's market. market. Shout out to, what's the name of the place that we got this from? Don't know. It was really good. Whatever it is. Delish. Okay. I think that's good. What do you say? Okay. More? So, yep. Should I do the whole thing? No, I'm going to, I think I'm going to save this. I'm okay, saving good. this for me, people. <laughs> Just a little. There you go. Okay. I think we should put the top on. Put and then the we go. On. Then let's go um, okay, find the wrap, go. and um, there we go. And then we'll get to the next step. Okay, we're ready for the next step. So, right. uh, I actually convinced Trisha that we were gonna add another layer of meat and the rest of the uh, <laughs> all all of the olives. Right. So I told her she was actually wrapped. gonna get it anyway. Okay. So the next step is we're gonna wrap it in plastic. Wrap it real tight and good. Oh, so it's nice all... and tight. All yeah. right. Let's... Maybe the second layer will be tighter. Wrap this up. I am not okay. the best at this, but I'm going to do my best. Yeah, you're doing great. <clears throat> all right. What do you think? Okay, so good? that's perfect. And then <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take another... Um, cutting board mm -hmm. and we're going to put it on the cutting board okay and we're going to put 40 pounds of weight on it and we're going to let it sit they work. say to let it sit That's overnight 20. can you do it okay yep and then we're going to do maybe i'll go like this wow why well, don't we don't want it to fall okay there we go all right. All right. So we're going to leave this for a little while and we'll be back. Mm -hmm. They recommend we leave it for 24 hours. Uh, I, I don't know how you get this in the refrigerator, but uh -uh. <laughs> we're not going to wait that long. No. Okay. In a few. Okay. Now we've got to the good part. It's so time. we So we rotated the weights uh, halfway through and Ugh. we're we're hungry. So we're doing this after only 30 minutes, but we should really do it for four hours. Um, so let's take it. We're going to take the weight off or take the Ta -da. thing off. Ooh, nice and flat. It's looking like it's smushed. All right. So the moment of truth. I say we cut it like, like a pizza All in right. fours. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, let's see what it looks like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So there's our, our first sandwich, our first muffaletta. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. We're going to go and enjoy uh, uh, eating it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>